Dva, tři. Uh, w3, w3, then w feature. W feature. Now I just wanted to speak one second um, on surprises. Okay. Now, as you're all aware, this absolute nightmare that I still find myself in happened after I went to Geneva, United Nations High Commission of Human Rights, end of May 2015, to, to lodge an appeal about violations to my human rights. So I fall under the criteria of because whatever anyone thinks of me, you know, I am a fucking human. Um, but anyway, this is, what, this is a place full of surprises, isn't it? Um, I, I hadn't been here in the here long, you know, I moved in, into this this place where I am at this time sitting, well, not this room, um, 16th of December 2016. Now, I'd been here in this hostel for, I don't know, not, not a matter of weeks or something, and one of the receptionists was talking to another receptionist, really really quite excited because they had a big united nations booking coming in to go into the dormitories and you know they were quite they were, they were really quite excited by the one who was who passed on, on the intel intelligence to the other one was quite excited um well you know they were quite excited i i thought oh for fuck's sake here we go again um i've never had sexual harassment as bad as I've ever had in my whole life, when I had a life before it's turned into this sordid existence. Before I went to the United Nations High Commission of Human Rights, I've had really bad sexual harassment from both males and females. Um, as well as harassment, as, as well as stalking, as well as intimidation. Um, I just, just want your friends to know like what it's like when you are a victim like this. And, and when you've got basically, you know, your enemies. United Nations, you've only been here for not long at all, and, and, and you know, they're, they're booking in. Great. Um, the, the staff kept nice and quiet about it, I'm guessing they wanted to keep quiet and quiet about it. And of course, on the subject of sexual harassment, you now I have got one female friend who was here with me in 2017 to, to maybe the beginning of 2018. I can't remember her name, you know. Um, I'm I'm a, a friend with her son, a uh, young Paddy. Anyway, she knew that I had this major problem with a female within here, sexual harassment. And, and you know, I was going beside myself o over this. You know, I was getting really wound up. I was working at the charity shop just down down the road here when I first moved here. I left that job at the charity shop because because of this woman. Um, she wouldn't leave me alone. She was stalking me with a fucking camera, obsessed with me. Now, sexual harassment is sexual harassment. I told the manageress of the charity shop I was working at what had been going on. She told me to, to report this into the manageress. I said, if I do that, I'm going to have a dirty smear on my name that I'm homophobic. It's not that I'm homophobic, I just don't like being stalked by anyone with the camera. And the way she was doing was absolutely disgusting. Um, and I just thought I'd tell you, friends, because, you know, that's not the only female I've had problems with sexual harassment with within this building. Um, I'm a witness, I'm a victim, and my treatment has been absolutely disgusting. Not bad, but absolutely disgusting. Anyway, I'll say over an hour, because I'm, I am trying to get to bed still, before I hibernate for the whole weekend. Okay, bye now.